on the rest of these guys. Look at the, the gap. Look at the distance he has established between himself and not only Justin Gatlin, but the remainder of the field. It puts so much pressure on everyone else. And now, this is interesting right here. So this really will demonstrate exactly what the advantage is that Usain Bolt has over everyone else. They both touch down at the same time. Now, if you watch the next step, watch Justin Gatlin's touchdown. He touches down right here. Now, look at Bolt. He hasn't touched down yet. It's the massive stride that makes the difference. And the thing is, is frequency and stride length are all you need, and that is now Bolton's touching down. So it's, it's, it's that distance that he's able to establish with each stride. But the other thing is, is there's no difference between his frequency and how quickly he can get his, his, his turnover going than Justin Gatlin. Here's another angle here, just again watching, just to kind of see where this race was won, and we're watching it right now. At 100 meters, this race is over because Bolt came in with a beautiful strategy, which was I'm going to get all of the work done in 100 meters around the bend, and I'm going to challenge everyone else in this race, most importantly, Justin Gatlin, to come get me. This is the gap that he has established. Gatlin is within contact, within reach. We see how much distance he has to catch up and, and pick up, but on the best there has ever been, Usain Bolt. Bolt just maintaining his stride, maintaining his form. Gatlin is struggling trying to come get him, but it just does not work. Bolt gets to the finish line first, right here, with the same exact distance, maybe a little bit more, but slightly more than Gatlin. So all of the work was done. And that first 100 meters, beautiful strategy, well executed.